With the new season, everyone is trying to hit their new goals. It might be hitting gold for the first time to get a cadet skin, maybe just trying to hit a new peak for some more NP, or maybe you just want to be higher than your friends to be able to call them piss slow. Everyone has these goals, but the problem is that they are hard to reach. Improving in Eternal Return takes time and effort, and let's be real here. We both know that you are way too lazy to actually improve or else you wouldn't have clicked on this video. But don't worry, that is perfect, because today I will show you how you can print LP by abusing the horrible balancing of Nimble Neuron. Now why do I call Hyanwu an LP printer? There are two reasons. One, Hyanwu being an extremely easy character to play and two, bitter retribution. Let's start with the first point by talking about this kit. His passive heals him by 8% of his max HP every 6th auto attack, which is already massive. But Nimble Neuron thought, what if we give him an auto attack reset on his W that also resets his passive, allowing him to heal for 16% of his max HP. Now if that was all his W did, I wouldn't be making this video. But the passive reset is only a small part about his W. The big part is that he gets CC immunity for the first 0.75 seconds and 60 defense for 6 seconds. I have no idea what Nimble Neuron thought while designing this. Actually, never mind. I know exactly what they thought. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Which is honestly genius, because when you play Hyanwu, you should be doing the exact same thing. Don't think. His ears are dead. Yeah, that's it. Surely there won't be a ton of hidden stuff when I hover over the- What the- Okay, his E is full of hidden stuff. First, you deal damage based on the enemy's current health. Second, you reduce their defense. And third, you can slam them against walls. See the Siva? Defense shredded. Daniel? Slammed against a wall. What would you do if a redhead boy would shred your clothes and slam you against the wall? Don't answer that. His whole kit is very powerful and will increase your survivability by a lot. But to get LP you also need a few kills, and this is where Bitter Retribution comes into play. Bitter gives you an enhanced auto attack after taking some damage. This enhanced auto attack will slow them by 50% for 2 seconds. The reason Bitter is so good is that it is on a 2 second cooldown, meaning if done correctly you can perma slow the enemy, if you combine it with your Q, which also slows for 2 seconds. So you can just dash in, slow them with bitter, hit them a few times, press Q, continue to hit them, slow them with bitter again and then you hit them even more. This really feels like playing Wildfighter Idol. I wish I just made that up. The only way you can die on this character is if you really want to die. Or run into a Camelo. You might have noticed that I haven't mentioned Hyanwu's ult yet and there's a good reason for that. It is completely useless. Don't skill it and don't use it. Now let's talk bullets, or rather the build, since you will only be using one. This one. This one right here. It is very simple. You follow it and drop your bread if you run into inventory problems. After you finish your build, you might notice that you have two different weapons and are probably already sweating because you don't want to do fancy weapon switching. But relax. Just equip the Brazil gauntlet and send those fools to Brazil. If you want to be extra fancy, you can equip the red ones to clear animals since... You know, the red ones go faster. Okay, you finished your build, threw away the red gloves, what now? Now you just do whatever you want. Want to go for a meteor? Go for it. You want to farm animals while watching your favorite VTuber? Do that. Why do I have so many racists in my chats, dude? Or maybe you just want to go into battle zones and slam people against walls. The choice is yours. One thing that is important to mention, however, is how to approach range versus melees. Range characters are best approached by eating into their face running at them and beating them up while they are slowed. Sometimes you don't even need to fight them to win. Melees are best fought by doing the exact same thing. Well, maybe you need to hit a wall stun sometimes, but the general idea is the same. Run at them and hit them hard. Transition wise, you just want things that make you hit harder. Bigger Nama, better person. Something to keep in mind is that there will be characters that you won't be able to beat with Yanwu. Mainly heavy stat checkers or ranged characters that don't allow you to get near them. Best way to deal with those is just avoiding them and hoping they die to someone else. Worst case scenario, you end up second which is still a good amount of LP. A friend of mine first timed Tianwu in a diamond game after I told him the character is absolutely broken and he ended up winning, gaining 36 LP. With that being said, I hope you have a great day and happy LP printing. Bye!